Hey guys. <coughs> um, so today I'm at Montgomery Council. Um, is built in the for um Robert D Montgomery in twelfth sorry tenth century, and by the Bidler family from the um twelfth century. Um, I suppose after the like fourteenth century, um, there's a lot of um civil war that destroyed it, and so they kept on build building, um, but kept on getting destroyed, and then from seventeenth century, it's left to a ruin, and I was attraction and um, but there's a lot to explore so yeah come with me the white internet not yet So there's a lot of ruins around here. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful. There are people about. I'm not sure. I think this must be like a turret down there, which I will go down and do a session later. Um, right. So, <clears throat> Robert D. Montgomery was the Earl of Shrewsbury. Um, <clears throat> he also owned Shrewsbury Castle as well, and probably would have heard his name crop, cropping up a lot in Shrewsbury, in abbeys and castles and that. But this lovely castle is <clears throat> on the border Wales if look in England so keeping our sight just like Australia and Whittington so hopefully you can read that so Thompson Ray on his birthday <coughs> So that's what it is to look like. God, it's a blimmin' big castle. I bet it, but there's a lot of <coughs> Englishmen trying to get in here and, and escorted by the Welsh get out. This reminds me of Whittington Council, actually. I'm not sure they had a moat. Yeah, no, I'll go down here and somebody come in. Hmm. 
So I don't know if anybody has heard of John Davis. He was um, a highwayman and he was hung here and buried at St. Nicholas Church in 18th century. Now, earlier, or oh, actually, it's right th I'm not sure if that's, if that's the church there, but it is huge. So, I may do that one day. <coughs> a lot of Welsh names that I can't say. Oh, this is burnt as well. Wow. So even though I'm doing the history of um, Shrewsbury and Shropshire, I think this is as far as I can go in Shropshire. <coughs> so I was looking on the Shropshire councils. It said Montgomery and there's one in Denby. So I think that's about as far as I can go. But I mean, there's loads more in um, Craven Arms and Lolo to go yet. <clears throat> so. So, in the 12th century, a woman lied he dying. Her name was Maud, widow from the town. She came to reclaim a saucepan. <laughs> okay. Maud was discovered, discovered on the spot where it used to... Oh, nice. Wonderful. There's an inquest held. Yes. So the death was recorded as misadventure. Was it really an accident? Nine years before taking action. Whoa! Have you read that? Somebody was murdered here yeah. to reclaim a saucepan. <laughs> what the hell? Weird. Actually, I might do a little session there, actually. This is quite an impressive castle. Whoa. Nice little window, in it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Look at that view. Lovely whales. Beautiful. Right then, Hubert's inner strength. <laughs> so Hubert built the inner ward. It's a stronghold that spreads against us little English people. Not sure what those were. I think everyone's bucked off now. Yay! That might have been a little toilet. Never know. Could be. Oh my god. Wonderful. And <laughs> it's a wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> I wonder what all this was then. It looks like it has been burned because it's all black. Yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> now what? They would have had like stairs. Not Falling down. That's, that was the idea back then. What? Falling down? <laughs> Make it difficult for people to come up. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. It's the Battle of Montgomery. So there are many wars after the 14th century. And they kept on building building until 18th century and then they gave up.
Sir Thomas Middleton troops. Three thousand parliamentarians. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I've heard about um, a prince, he demolished the castle as well. Is it saying anything about a prince anywhere? No. Uh -uh. Well, that's interesting about that mode, anyway. Right then. You can walk all the way around. But, whew, that's a good work, eh? So, right. Go tube on. And, Nobody around. There's none there. I'm gonna do a fox. You're listening. See, it's still muffled. Really odd. You're listening. Yeah. And that must be like um, a large archway then. That's a weird sound. Uh, and then... What? Could uh, be a mod to communicate one body. This lovely castle.
everybody like to communicate. When the spirits like to communicate down here, more than welcome. I'm not sure what this used to be. I'm thinking it could have been like a turret or something. Tell you what, I got two really impressive pictures up there from Sia. Um, so, well, I've got three, but the last one looks a bit silly, but first two looks really impressive. So, Oh, ooh, who was that? Can put that down there because that's annoying me. Anybody like to communicate and say hi? I'm Kelly. Hi there. Are you. Are you who's safe? Oh, well, hope I am safe. Is this Welsh Welshman or Englishman? Can I get your name? Is she not? That must have been like the way in that, like cross drawbridge, gate ice, drawbridge to the gate ice. Maybe the English tried to get up here. Can't believe I bit this castle. Is. But impressive if you want to come. Been something come down here. Somebody came through. Do you want to come through again? I'm Kelly. Lovely to meet you, however, came through. I think this could have been drain. No, no, you don't know anything. No, that's true. Somebody wanted to chat. 
obviously not. God's sake, stay. Well, anyway, thank you very much for coming through. And, um, yeah, thank you, you guys, for watching. Hi, guys. Um, today I'm at Holt Castle in Wrexham. And there's lots of history and some ghostly tales, so um, come explore. That's what it used to look like. I'm tucking all of all the tarts. There's La Lady Chapel, the mate. And that's what's left after all these civil war. So. Holt Castle was built between 12th and 13th century for John D. Waring and grandson Earl of Surrey. During the defeat of Prince Wales, it's a pentagonal in plan for massive grind towers signed in a central courtyard. Edward the Black Prince temporarily looked at, took possession of the castle in 14th century. Also, Richard but Salon took ownership too from Humdabi. Following the death of John D. Waring, Sir William Stanley, a steward, made the castle his home also <laughs> in 14th century. After backing Richard III as king and changed size to help Henry V to defeat Richard III of the Battle of Bosworth, who was done for treason. William Bradford also a steward of Bonfield and Yale, lived in the castle in the 15th century during the reign of Henry VIII. He was falsely accused of having an affair with Anne Boleyn. He was tried and beheaded. Since 16th century, it was used as a stone quarry and just left. Is there a spirit down here? Like to make contacts. Oh.
sounds like somebody's in the kitchen. Testing. Testing. Testing the food. Oh, that sounds a bit worse, that. Does someone like to make contact at all? It's a black lady. Let's see what else, mate. Weird. Yeah. 